Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Fridays from the Farm with Farmer Chris. So today I'm coming at you from the rooftop at our Brookside location. The reason for that is because it gives you such a great look down onto the farm space we have here in the backyard. From our goat shed and the goat pasture to the vegetable garden, the chicken coop leading over into the fruit garden, and then our learning garden down below. All of these spaces were tended to by our STEAM session, Success Through Education, Agriculture, and Mentoring, and it ended just this last week. And so it was a big eight weeks, uh, 24 middle school age students, and then two high school youth supervisors worked in tandem with farm staff to make sure that all of the processes were maintained throughout the summer. They provided farm share boxes to customers, they made cheese, they harvested and collected honey, um, and then maintained all of the farm processes and systems that you see happening behind me. So it was a really huge success. We're really grateful for the partnerships we have around town from the Marion County Council on Youth with their Summer Youth Program Fund, and then the Lilly Endowment and the Lilly Foundation for their contributions, and then the support of the school administration to make sure that we're able to fund these student positions so that they're paid for the work that they do here on the farm. So it was a really great eight weeks. A lot of work was done. You can see that it looks super great. And we're just really excited to lead into another strong school year with everybody. I hope you enjoy Keeping Up with the Coop, uh, Curious Corner, and Jokes with Robin. Y'all have a great day. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Keeping Up with the Coop. Today, I wanted to bring you around to the back of the chicken coop where we collect our eggs. So you can kind of see the process there. At the same time, I wanted to explain a process that the chickens go into, which is called being broody. So you can see Crow, one of our famous chickens back here. She's been broody lately, which means that throughout the day, she just sits in this box. She gets up one time to get a drink and to eat some food, but then she returns to this box to sit on eggs. And you can see that I'll reach underneath and she'll be a little bothered, but I take out an egg. And the reason that we don't leave them under there is because we don't necessarily want them to start developing because our eggs are for selling. And so Crow, she'll continue to sit here and eventually the broody cycle will break and she'll return to the flock just like the rest of them. Thanks for keeping up with us, and I hope you have a great week. Take care. You say goodbye, Crow. Hey, everybody. I wanted to bring you an update on the chicks that we hatched earlier on this season. So you can see one of them standing on my hand right here behind me. It's super tiny. So for some reason, it didn't grow at all. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this week's Curious Corner. That tree right back there is one of the oldest trees in the city of Indianapolis. And all along Pogue's Run, there are oaks that are also found to be some of the oldest trees in the city. And so we're really grateful that we're uh, going to have the opportunity to be stewards of this tree on the Cottage Home property. And this week's Curious Corner is all related to that idea of history in, in your place. And so my curiosity is, what is the oldest thing uh, where you're living. It might be the home that you're living in. There might be something growing outside that is old. Uh, it might be the people that are living in your house that are the oldest part of that. And so I invite you to be curious about just the history of your area or of the specific place you are, are in. But yeah, just be curious and explore some of that to look back into the past. That might give you an idea of what you have to look forward to. Uh, I hope you all stay curious and that you have a great day. <laughs> When does a joke become a dad joke? When it becomes a parent.